Chamber. Trevor, you gotta calm down, please. Help what me was that? find something to cover him up with. I'm telling you, you ain't this. supposed to be here! <laughs> Coming in here. You ain't supposed to be here! Go ahead, son! Try to get me now! In order to unlock new abilities or augmentations, you must first gain experience in the form of XP points. You will receive these points when completing main objectives, side quests, or through special bonuses, like completing a mission without being detected. Once you've accumulated enough XP points, you will receive a Praxis point. These points are used to unlock upgrades to existing augmentations and to unlock entirely new augmentations. Praxis kits, which can be found through exploration or purchased in limb clinics, will also give you instant Praxis points. To unlock an augmentation or upgrade, simply select it in the augment... Some of the obstacles that can be circumvented by hacking include turrets, cameras, and robots. All you need to do is find a security hub controlling these obstacles and hack it. Capture and Fortify programs are your main hacking tools. You can upgrade their ratings via
step away from the console. Now! Richard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch them. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them.
Isaac Hassan reporting to you live from Picus. Back now to that breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are Lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same! You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hunter. I got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear me? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, mia la vieja, we're leaving. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You got a lot of nerve insulting me, considering your success rate today. You were played for a fool. You led your people into a trap, and now you're on the verge of getting yourself killed. Unless you let her go. Did I ask for your opinion just now? Look at you, shaking in your boots. You're so desperate, I can't lose. All I gotta do is hold on tight to this little piece of insurance, and as long as I do, you and the cops can't do nothing. 
The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. Right. Like I need the approval of somebody who sold the soul to the biomod industry. You know what? I'm done talking here. The sorry son of a bitch who lied to my brother messed with the wrong family. Now I'm gonna track down everybody and anybody who helped them and laugh while I ripped their fucking heads off. And there ain't nothing you or anybody else in this world can do to stop me. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage, just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. The hell with this? You're making my head hurt with all your bullshit. I'm a man of action, and what I really need to do right now is fix the damage that was done to me tonight. Get in my way, and she dies. Police! Stop right there! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. Three. But I'm pretty sure Number he's just a dupe. Somebody Most else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you I back here now. The admin here building yet? has a rooftop chair. Three Farida on it. What about the hostages? Shouldn't I? There's nothing you can do, son. Three. So I couldn't save them. Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph, I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. It's not my place to judge, Malik. Okay then. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If... If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. 
Fine. Ask away. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Oh, did you hear yet? There was a demonstration at the Lynn Clinic. Anti-augmenters. Mostly peaceful, though. Great job at the plant, boss. Wish I could have gone out with you, but things got a little tense over here, too. Jensen, you back to handling security around here? Because somebody's stealing supplies. Jensen, you were there, at the plant. What happened? How did that monster get away from you? I don't buy for a second he was with Purity. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. Stay out of the ladies' restroom. What do you think they talk about? David and you, Darrow? The hell if I know. It's Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talking about. Everybody's trying to convince him to come out of hiding. They spin the news like anyone else. Darrow, not hiding. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me yeah how you feeling I've had better days well when we're done here check him at Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown get her to get a checkup if you insist listen about Sanders yeah about Sanders what the hell were you thinking letting him slip away like that I sent you in there to take care of things And I did. The Typhoon is safe. Sanders didn't know about it. He didn't even know his hacker was augmented. He's not the mastermind behind this, boss. So you cut him a break? The man broke into my facility and took hostages at him. 
I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Well, maybe they didn't like being held off so long at the plant. Is that my head of security speaking? Or the ex-cop? Listen, Adam. I don't want to squabble about this. I need you to get to the bottom of it. You still got friends in the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Adam Jensen? Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. But this is where you work. But to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? 
Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. No Ogs in D row. You ain't gonna get any more warnings. Turn around, Ogs. Hey, this doesn't concern anyone there. Oh, who's there? See who the fuck Keep it is. Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. This ain't the place for you, Hanser. 